Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to have another Persian dish. It's called the Piaze Megu, which actually is the shrimp with two onions. But anyway, this food is from south of Iran by Persian Gulf. And it's going to be a little bit spicy because of the nature of the area. And uh, it's very easy and simple, but it takes more time to make the rice that we have to eat the uh, shrimp bit than making it itself. So let's go over the ingredients and start making it. All right, to making this food, uh, we need for, this is actually going to be for four people. So uh, I have here one kilogram of shrimp or two pounds. And this shrimp that I bought, it was uh, de wing and also was clean, no head or a shell but it did have the tail on it so I just took this off and just like this there is here is this wing if you buy it like this fine otherwise you have to take this out no matter what because it's a the shrimp intestine is here and it makes that very bad taste and there is another one here which I took this uh, usually like 85% of the people are in restaurant they don't take this out this is not doesn't uh, affect any of the taste because this is coming from the head brain goes all the way and it's just kind of you know uh, it's a nerve system anyway this is two pounds and it's been cleaned nicely and devein as I said uh, what we need for this food also I have two potatoes here, four or five cloves of garlic, two onion. I do have, here is a curry powder. It's about uh, two teaspoon, one teaspoon a coriander seeds powder, one teaspoon a cumin uh, powder, one teaspoon black pepper, a quarter of teaspoon a hot pepper, chili pepper. I do have one teaspoon of a ginger paste. You can use the fresh one, or if you don't like it, you don't have to use it at all. I have one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon salt. This has to be changed to your taste, obviously, and some cooking oil. What I have here is two cups of rice, which I already washed it and cleaned, some cilantro, which I'm gonna cut some of it, just like a half a cups of chopped for just uh, at the end to put on the top of it for garnishment and a little bit enhance the taste. All right, since the food itself is not gonna take that long, we start with making our rice first so we can catch up with the rice. Let's go and make the rice and come back, start cutting the onion. All right, let's start cooking our rice. Put it in here. I turn the heat. This is a hot water to make the process faster. I put uh, about the, uh, what is it? Uh, seven, eight cups of water, hot water. I put it here and we need to put some salt because uh, we are going to drain the water and make that. You already saw how to make the Persian rice. I do have the special video for it. All right, let's go back and start cutting our onion. Cutting the onion is just trying to just, you just do it small pieces. Okay, I'm going to peel this and also cut it in small cubes and then we go to start cooking them. All right, I like to cut this with a very small cubic. Like this size.
also some people they don't mix this together or they don't put it at all but mostly they have it some mix it with the shrimp some they saute that separate so I cut this to the small pieces now uh, we are going to put this in a bowl and some water to keep it fresh till we use it all right it's the time to drain the water on this one okay that's we're doing to get the excess of salt and excess of starch all right it goes back to the same bowl a little bit of water and oil all right i put them back right here some holes to steam comes up and make it easier to cook and <clears throat> put it on a high heat for just four or five minutes as soon as they start steaming up and we reduce that and put the kitchen cloth on the top now we are set for our rice so start making our actual food all right uh, what i do here trying to cook the potato first just a little bit and it was in in the water soaking to keep the freshness and a uh, little bit the oil after the gets dry the water evaporate a little bit of oil all right cook this for just like maybe four or five minutes then we are taking this out put it aside and put the onion in there our potato cooks uh, more than half away so that's enough because you have to put it back again after our onion is done so just want to make sure that we're not gonna have the the, the reason that I'm doing it because shrimp's gonna take five four or five minutes uh, to be cooked I don't want to you know just be overcooked therefore I try to make the potato at least cook somehow then we add it again all right this is a good time to start putting the our cut onion to this a little bit more oil all right it's the time to put some of the spices in all right, just put that time for the garlic. All right, this is the last one. a minute or so with the garlic now we add the turmeric I don't know what this start making noise okay let's change it to take this one put it on a small one put this on this side there you go all right here's our curry powder cumin 
curry in there. Potter. Okay. <clears throat> All right, put to potatoes back. For a ginger. You're almost there. Now it's the time to add our shrimps. Some people, they like to cut the shrimps in a two or three pieces, but I like it to be intact. All right, this is gonna take about maybe five to eight minutes total to be done. And it's a time that I like to add the salt and a pepper. It goes directly to our shrimp. There is our salt too. Yeah, that pepper was both black and chili pepper together. All right, it's been about like a five minute just I put the shrimp in. It's to me, it's, it's done, but uh, we usually, this is why it didn't put it on ingredients, uh, because they, it's very optional. I like to add just a little bit of saffron for the uh, color and also taste. So I'm going to do that. And then uh, after about a minute or so, you are going to serve the food. See you there. All right, guys, food is ready. The piazza megu, as I said, you know, for garnishment and a little bit of the colorful making. There's a, some of those chopped cilantro. And here you go. I forgot to tell you this is wonderful with the fresh lemon or pickled mango. That's perfect combination okay guys thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate your support and i thank you till next time with another persian dish bye